Do you know what I like to do when I pick up a golf club for the first time in seven years? This is a little low runner I play that has a lot of backspin and stops quickly. This is my one-handed flop shot. I like to practice one-handed. I'm doing those slow-mos to mimic the old Bobby Jones films. They were great. Now let's look at some cards. So on a recent video, I filmed it here and somebody commented on the painting behind me and wanted me to tell them, you know, the story behind this painting. And uh, it's too much to type. So I, uh, I said I'd address it on uh, uh, the beginning of a future video. And that's what I'm doing now. So I'm at my Murrow's Inlet home and we moved here in 2004. And, you know, I came from Pittsburgh, so the first thing I did was plant palm trees all over my yard because I'm like, I'm not moving from Pittsburgh to South Carolina near the ocean and not having palm trees, right? And so we were looking uh, to get furnishings for the house, and we were going to furniture store after furniture store, and everything down here, uh, especially at that time, more so at that time, uh, because when I first moved here, uh, this place still closed for the season. And now everything's open year round and uh, a lot more people uh, come down here and a lot more people live here now. But at that time, it was still seasonal. And so we'd go around to the furnishing stores and I'm trying to find some paintings and so forth. And of course, I have contemporary taste and everything down here was like for a little old ladies home or very country. And I had a hard time finding anything. So I stumbled into this furniture shop and I didn't see anything that I liked. But as I was leaving, I saw this painting and it was in the manager's office. And uh, I went, I knocked on the door and I'm like, I'm looking for a painting and uh, this is the only one I like. Um, you know, can I buy that one? What, are you displaying it? What's going on here? And he's like, no, this is for um, my office. He's like, but hey, if you want it, I, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> and so uh, I bought that from the manager's personal office and uh, put it up. And then when we got it, I, I, I had swapped out my, my kitchen light, my dining room light. And um, I got a, uh, a blue and white light. I'll show you in a minute. And when I turn on the light, it brings this painting to, to life and it almost looks real and it has the colors like a sunset and everything. It's really, it's really crazy. Cause I mean, we didn't design that. It's just by accident. And so uh, I'll show you what that looks like now. So this is the blue and white light. Now watch what happens when I turn out all the lights and just turn this one on. So I won my club's putting competition. We had super lightning fast greens, very undulated. My club was down the road from Oakmont Country Club and we had hired the greenskeeper from there. And my God, did he make that course fast. And so we had this big giant practice green. It was very undulated, lightning fast. If you were above the hole, forget about it. And we had some good players at our club. We had a guy that was the Pennsylvania senior champion. We had a guy that played on the senior tour. Um, a, a guy I played with uh, was in the U.S. amateur. And another friend of mine was a, was a pro. And we had some good golfers at my club. Also, uh, Rocco Mediate's dad and uncle uh, would play at that club. And we used to watch Rocco's uh, uh, rounds when he was uh, competing 
And it was a, a lot of fun, really a great experience to do that. And so um, I ended up winning the competition and they gave me the dumbest thing you could give somebody that wins a putting competition. They gave me a putter. Now, why would somebody who's putting really well with their own putter need a putter? <laughs> Never understood that one. But anyway, I was very, very, um, very proud to win that. And, uh, you know, I'm a little bit of, uh, I like to bust chops a little bit. So I had this card made uh, to pass out to my friends. <laughs> But Upper Deck is making uh, golf cards again this year. And so I thought I would go through and show you the very first set of Upper Deck golf cards they made. And I bought these things up like crazy uh, because I was a big golf golfer at the time and a big golf fan at the time. And I started to buy vintage golf cards, but I really, really wanted um, to get these uh, cards in 2001 and of course, Tiger Woods was the man at that time. And uh, there's the Tiger Woods rookie card, along with a lot of other guys too, because, you know, they hadn't made golf cards in a while. So there are lots and lots of rookie cards in this set, if you want to call them that. And so I'm just going to show you this set and just put it to a little music and, uh, you know, walk you through the set. Check it out. You may have noticed the paint on my hand. I uh, was staining my patio today. <laughs> oh, come on. Once again, 
Thanks for watching.